years, he makes America weak. And that is disqualifying for someone who wants to be commander in chief of the United States of America. That is disqualifying. Never let anybody tell you who you are. You tell them who you are. Never let anybody suggest to you that you are what they think you should be. You tell them who you are and who you know you are and what you intend to be. Got that? What's up guys, boy Benny. I am a parent of toddlers right now who are learning how to walk, so you hope they don't fall down the stairs and hurt themselves horribly. They're learning how to talk, so you hope the jarbled mess that comes out of their mouth is somehow intelligible. And they are potty training, so you hope they don't make a horrible mess of everything. And that is exactly the state that Joe Biden's handlers are in every second of every single day. It's why we made graphics like this for Joe Biden's uh, all important, must deliver press conference last night at the NATO summit. Now, Joe Biden has already had some major problems speaking, moving and walking at the NATO summit. For instance, he called the head of NATO, a guy named Jan Solzenberg, an intellectual That's wigger. The progress we made in the alliance is thanks to the secretary. He's a man of integrity and intellectual rigor. Intellectual rigor. Okay, that's a new one on me. He's called uh, Voldemort Zelensky, who's currently at war with Vladimir Putin in Russia. Um, he called him Vladimir Putin. And now I want to hand it over to the president of Ukraine, who has as much courage as he has determination. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> Bold strategy there, Cotton. Uh, but nothing's worse than Joe Biden walking out on stage um, with all the confidence last night, ready to go, all jacked up on something, and then he says that Donald Trump is the vice president. <laughs> My question for you is, how are you incorporating these developments into your decision to stay? And separately, what concerns do you have about Vice President Harris's ability to beat Donald Trump if she were at the top of the ticket? Look, I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be vice president, but I think she's not qualified to be president. So let's start there. Number one. <laughs> I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be vice president. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. <laughs> what did I just say? Jill Biden, ah, Vice President Trump. <laughs> oh man, it's really good. The memes are really good. This is the exact moment that Joe Biden's little cadre of staffers all wince and their souls leave their body at the same time when he says Vice President Trump. Check I wouldn't this out. have picked Vice President Trump to be Vice President, but I think she's not qualified to be President. So Vice President <laughs> Trump to be him. Vice President. But I think she's not qualified to be president. So let's start there. Every one of them closes Number their one. eyes and like looks down. The fact <laughs> is that <laughs> it's like having a it's like a toddler. Yeah, it's like having a toddler. Yeah, it's it's similar. I mean, listen, I get it. Uh, Donald Trump roasting all of this uh, in a hilarious manner. Donald Trump. Crooked Joe Biden begins his big boy press conference saying, "I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be vice president if I didn't think he was qualified to be president." Great job, Joe. <laughs> and Joe Biden says. Yes, I know the difference. One's a prosecutor, one's a felon. What are you talking about? Why would you promote that you said this? Why, why would you do this? This is not the own that you think it is. The GOP official account saying it's bedtime, sleepy time for Joe. <laughs> it's a big boy. <laughs> oh, it was really, really bad. It was so brutal. The entire press conference was incredibly brutal, totally unintelligible. Uh, Democrats during the press conference demanding that Joe Biden uh, resign in far too wordy and breathy. I mean, could you get, stop doing the meme, right? Just shut up. Just tell, just say Joe Biden should resign. Like, wh like, why do you have to do this entire, <laughs> they work for days on this big statement. Who cares? Nobody cares about you. Cringe Jean-Pierre ready for tomorrow's press conference. <laughs> the Senator Mike Lee sharing this image is what the entire, this is what the entire internet is talking about now. This is like the first question Joe Biden says, uh, Vice President Trump, live look at DNC headquarters. <laughs> oh my God. Oh no. Oh no. Look at Anthony Blinken back there. What a little rat that guy is. What a, what a scum. What scum. Yeah. 
Uh, listen, listen to Joe. So this is this is a meme based on a follow up question that Joe Biden got at the very end of the press conference, where a uh, reporter says, "Hey, you said Vice President Trump. Trump's making fun of you. Like, do you take that back?" This, this, con this concludes. Respectfully, earlier you misspoke in your opening answer. You referred to Vice President Harris as Vice President Trump. Right now, Donald Trump is using that to mock your age and your memory. How do you combat that criticism from tonight? Listen to him. This concludes tonight's press conference. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Okay, listen to Trump. Okay, great. So you call Trump the vice president and say he should be president, and then you say listen to Trump. These are the, uh, this is Machiavelli memes that created this. Pretty good. See how bad, how pathetic Biden has been. He's the worst president in the history of our country. Listen to him. He's corrupt. Listen to him. He's incompetent. Listen to him. Uh, he's weaponized the justice system to go after his political opponent, which has never been done before. And he's the worst president we've ever had. Listen. Yeah, listen to him. Uh, Kamala Harris, uh, Joe Biden confuses Kamala Harris and Donald Trump in disaster start to big boy press conference, uh, responds to claims he needs to go. This is just what everything, Vice President Trump, this is what everybody is talking about, right? This is what everyone, everyone's saying, Vice President Trump, what the hell is he talking about? Trump finding out that he's Vice President, <laughs> oh, I just heard it for the first time, I didn't know. Vice President, President Putin meets Vice President Trump. <laughs> this is from, uh, this is from Geert Wilders. This is the guy who's like in charge in the Netherlands. He's like, he's, he's a prime minister of the Netherlands. It's amazing. Uh, his party won. Actually, I don't know if he's prime. I don't think, I don't think actually he's prime minister. I think he's just, he's member of parliament, chairman of the, uh, free, he's 1.4 million followers. He's, he's in charge of the, he's in charge of the political movement that's in charge of the Netherlands and just won. Now introduce Zelensky as Putin, leader of Ukraine, President Putin. <laughs> Vice President Trump. <laughs> it's Joe Biden. Look at this. It's a real photo. Uh, breaking the Vice President of the United States and the President of Ukraine were spotted leaving Olive Garden this evening. Elon Musk laughing in response. Oh, God. Vice President Trump, why, why is this still happening? Please make it stop. Don't stop. The content is phenomenal. The most entertaining outcome is the most likely, says Elon Musk. It's so very, very true. Uh, I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be vice president. Is this real? Says <laughs> Elon Musk. Yes, it is real. This is unbelievable. What else have they lied to us about? Oh, man. Real reality is beyond parody. Elon Musk having a good old time. Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump ratify a historic peace accord. <laughs> Again, Elon laughing. They're having a good old time here. The photoshops. <laughs> oh, man. Nightmare fuel. <laughs> Vice President Trump's not going to be happy when we find out. I ratioed her, says Greg. Uh, thank you, Vice President Trump. <laughs> and now everybody's calling Kamala Harris Vice President Trump. Ah, <laughs> uh, maybe this is why Obama Pelosi privately expressed concerns over Biden looking to kick him out. We've been covering that extensively. And the Trump family, of course, getting in on it and having a good old laugh. Why would you do it, Joe? I don't know what I've done. I got poo poo in my pee pee. It's a great image of the press. Nobody really hit Joe with like a tough question yesterday, right? Like it was, it was very, very kind to Joe Biden. Joe Biden uh, still didn't make any sense throughout the rest of the press conference. It was the um, advice of my commander in chief, my no, my, my the advice uh, of your commander in chief of staff of the military. Oh, okay, got it. Okay, uh, what else do you got to say, Joe? In the next debate, I'm not going to be traveling in the 15 time zones a week before. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, that, that, that's what it was about. That's what it was about. And by the way, even with that, I love my staff, but they add things. They add things all the time. At the very end, I'm catching hell from my wife for that. Anyway. Catching hell from my wife. My staff. What a, what a cretinous. What an a-hole, man. What, a, what an a-hole. What a jack wagon this guy is, blaming his staff, blaming a cold, blaming everyone but himself and his own Parkinson's. Affect your decision, or are you fully determined on running uh, in November as the party's nominee? I'm determined on running, but I think it's important that I, real, I lay fears 
I see and let them see me out there. Let me see them out. You know, we see you, Joe. For the longest time it was, you know, Biden's not prepared to sit with us unscripted. Biden's not prepared to, you know, anyway. <laughs> Biden's not prepared to, to Biden not prepared to, uh, uh, it, anyway, anyway. Trump posting on Truth Social. Crooked Joe begins a big boy press conference saying that I am the vice president. <laughs> Kamala Harris showing up to the debates looking like this. Oh, man. The most entertaining outcome is certainly the most likely. We are here for it. Ladies and gentlemen, Vice President Donald Trump. <laughs> it's too good. What a nightmare. It's going to be a wild, wild next couple of months. Four months to go, baby. Lock and load. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Let's your boy Benny see you.